Next time you're at Dollar Tree, make sure to grab a few of these Easter and spring themed kitchen tiles. They are gorgeous. I grabbed one of each style and let me tell you, I've got plans for them. The first thing I want to do is I want to grab a book. This is an old book that I got at Dollar Tree specifically for this purpose for whenever I wanted to craft with them. I'm going to grab nine pages and just kind of cut off the excess white portion from the sides as well as the bottom, but I'm going to leave the top as is. I'm going to do a banner and this banner is going to have nine pages. So I want to create a banner like shape at the bottom. So I just marked in the center and then using my rotary cutter and ruler, I cut that. This beautiful towel has Easter eggs design on it and it's so cute. I'm going to cut off several of their designs. I think is one of each to be exact. And I'm just going to use my scissors. These gorgeous scissors are from Amazon. They're new to me and I love them. I do have them on Amazon store. If you want to check it out, it is linked down below. We now have five different designs and look how cute these look. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to fold just about maybe an inch from the top. And I'm going to do all the pages at once. And this is just five pages for the five eggs. And we're just going to take one at a time, fold them well. And then using hot glue, we're just going to hot glue one egg in the center of each page. And you're going to probably notice that several of the pages were actually cut backwards. <laughs> <laughs> please don't don't judge me um honest mistake but anyways it is what it is i'm just gonna hug glue one egg in each page and now we have five of the banners neatly and beautifully designed all right so now we're going to take the leftover four pages do the same thing fold and then i found this banner already made at dollar tree it is so adorable they have these cute little flowers and i'm just going to grab four of them and we are going to place them like we did the eggs one in the center i'm just going to pick one of each color and they had pink purple yellow and blue Isn't this looking so adorable? I love these flowers. All right, so now we have four of these banners already. I'm going to take this burlap lacy ribbon from Dollar Tree, and we're just going to start separating and arranging each banner in a style that kind of complements each other, making sure that I'm alternating between an egg and a flower. And then that middle one that says Happy Easter is going to be in the middle. So I'm going to find the middle portion of my ribbon. I'm going to mark with a permanent marker and that way I know exactly where to hot glue it. And we're gonna do it right inside the little fold. Add hot glue as needed, be careful it does get hot. And then add more if you need to, of course, fold it. I'm gonna leave about an inch between each banner and I'm just gonna keep placing them in the pattern that I chose for them. I started in the middle and then work my way outwards on one side and then worked on the other side. And that's it. Now you can add whatever you want. You can add greenery in the center. I contemplate in doing that, but I think just like this is absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorites from today. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're gonna take the leftover towel from earlier and we're gonna cut it in half. Then we're gonna cut that half into half and then we are going to make sure that we cut off just a few little inches on one side so that we have a 10 inch long piece we're going to mark in the center with my ruler and then we are going to diagonally add glue so from the outside upper corner all the way to the center portion of the piece just like that make sure that it's fully attached and then cut off the excess get as close as possible to the glue without cutting the glue of course 
Now we are going to flip it inside out and you're gonna see that we have a cute little carrot shape. That's what we're making. And I did it again. <laughs> I did the fabric backwards. Oh my gosh, please don't judge me. All right, so I did one of them and now we are going to just thread some of this white jute string into a stitching needle and then just thread it in and out, in and out in the top portion of the carrot. Make sure that you start and end with the string on the outside. Once it's completely in there, then we are going to fill the carrot with some pillow stuffing. Use a pencil. I used a pencil to get me in there right in the corner. The rubber band, you know, or like the eraser really helps with pushing it in. And then just keep adding until the entire thing is filled. Once you have stuffing in there, look how cute that's looking. Please ignore that it's backwards, okay? <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull the string and tighten it, but not too tight because we wanna add greenery. We're gonna add hot glue and just keep adding. This is from a pick from Walmart, but you can use the picks from Dollar Tree if you have that on hand. Just add as many or as little as you want. And then once you have them hot glued, flip it over to its back or yeah, to its front so that you can tie it in the back and then tighten it as much as you can and then make sure that you cut off the excess. And then I did the same exact thing on a second one. I know I went over everything, so now we are going to speed it up just as a review. So we just cut off a piece, added glue diagonally, cut off the excess, flipped it inside out. Then we're gonna thread the jute string in and out on the top. We're gonna fill it with some pillow stuffing. We're gonna tighten it slightly. We're gonna add some greenery with hot glue, tie it in a knot, cut off the excess, and now you have two very cute upside down carrots <laughs> perfect for easter decoration what do you think of this one let me know down in the comments for this next dollar tree diy craft we are going to take this festive and very colorful kitchen towel from dollar tree we are going to fold it in half now we're going to take some faux leather now this one is from amazon that i already had on hand from other projects but if you have the kind from Dollar Tree, use that as well. I'm going to cut off some straps that are two inches thick. And I honestly don't know how long they are. It's just the length that I had available. You cut yours in whatever length you want. We're going to create a cute and very festive tote bag. So I'm going to start sewing it with my sewing machine. And I want to give it like a crisscross shape on the outside. I am using white thread on purpose because I wanted to see that stitch. But you can use whatever color you want. And I am not a sewer. <laughs> I'm not pretending to be one either. I just know the very, very basics and that's what I'm doing. So it is not perfect, but I really love the way this turned out. So I'm gonna do one strap first. Again, we're just gonna do a square. Then we're going to stitch or sew a crisscross in the center. And taking in consideration that we're using a Dollar Tree towel and that I'm not the best sewer in the world, I think it turned out okay. <laughs> seems sturdy enough <laughs> anyways I did it on the other side of this strap and then I did it again on the other side of the tote bag so we did this four times All right, so we're just about done attaching the straps. Now we're gonna fold it in half and we wanna make sure because the back eggs are upside down and I did notice this time, I'm so proud of myself. I'm gonna cut off a rectangle for the left from the leftover faux leather and we're gonna place it in the front of the tote bag and we're just gonna attach it by sewing. I'm gonna leave about, maybe about three quarters of an inch on each side and we're just gonna sew each side as well as the bottom, leaving the top open of course, because it will be a pocket. Once that is attached, then all we have left to do is sew the sides. And that is pretty simple. I can even do that. <laughs> and I did that on both sides. Now you can add a little strap to close it. I decided not to, but I think it turned out so cute, so festive. This would be great for any like Easter, spring kind of parties. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. This is such a fun Dollar Tree DIY craft. 
we're going to take this beautiful happy Easter towel. We're going to cut it in half. Now, I love the colors, so I just thought it was perfect for this project. We're going to hot glue both sides to each other, creating like a little bag, because then we're going to close up and hot glue the bottom of it. We're just creating a little sack for treats or gift bag, whatever you want to use this for. Now we are going to just cut off a few inches from the top. I just felt like it was a little too tall, but you can do whatever you want. I'm going to use my ruler and I'm just going to draw a line. This is so that it keeps me straight as I start making little slits with my X-Acto knife. I'm making sure that the slit goes through the top all the way through the other side because I want all the slits to match to each other. This is because we're going to thread in and out a beautiful ribbon. Dollar Tree has this beautiful Easter themed and spring themed ribbon on hand and I just love, love, love them. I'm going to take this thin one and we're just going to thread it in and out. We're going to start in the front, making sure that I start and finish with the ribbon on the outside. I'm just using this little tool just to help me thread it in and out. And I'm going to speed it up here for you. It's very repetitive. Once we get to the front, it's a matter of just making sure you cut off any excess ribbon. Now you can stuff this, like I said, with candy. I'm just going to add this napkin just to add fullness for now. But then we're just going to pull and tug. And just make a very simple bow. Isn't this the cutest little bag? You can use this for treats. Again, you can use it for gift. Whatever your hearts desire. Love the way this one turned out. These colors and the bunny is right in the front. How cute. Would love to know your thoughts on this one. Of course, let me know down in the comments. Weren't these just the cutest? Now I have another video here for you with tons more of Dollar Tree DIY crafts inspiration. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.